Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Now, we've had, mm. a, we've had a good week, a uh, week and a half, two weeks of international football, um, but we've been severely missing a certain aspect of it, haven't we? I mean, we always talk about these VAR souls and they basically give us our content for the, for the whole episode usually, but we haven't had any in, in the international games. How weird is it that there's a professional competition? I can't believe I'm even saying this actually, but how weird is it that there's a professional competition without VAR? I find it strange that they can have it, bring it in, take a couple of years to try and get it right. And then we have an international mini tournament, whatever they want to call it, and yet VAR isn't used. Why would you just stop and, and not use it? I mean, the thing that got me, I think it was a tackle Gundogan didn't make against Spain. Yeah. And they ended up getting a free kick from it on the edge of the box. Now, the commentators this end in the US were saying, oh, was it in the box? Wasn't it in the box? Well, it wasn't a fucking foul. Yeah. You know, full stop, whether it was or wasn't in the box, he missed them completely. You know, so it made me think you can't not have it now, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's got to be there for, for every single professional game. Yeah. You know, well, yeah. you can't just say, let's do it in the league, let's not do it in the, in the, in the Nations Cup, let's, let's do it in the Euros. Well, this is what happened oh. with uh, Lampard in Germany, wasn't it? We already had the goal line technology. We just didn't use it in that World yeah. Cup. Yeah, and that's true. And it was obviously clearly over the, it was over the line by yeah. a foot and a half. And it would have made it, what, 1-1 one, one or 2-1 maybe, which still they, they were kind of running away with it. But yeah. it's a different game. Yeah, and it is no, no, rival, no, so. I missed it. Yeah, you know? I mean, I mean, look, we all want it to be right. We want him yeah. to get it. Right. We want him to get a spot on. But there's been not not just that. There was a couple of offsides that maybe was, maybe wasn't. With with the well, with the games I watched anyway, which could have been any random game. It, well, that's yeah. the, that's the thing with uh, VAR. It's like they could do so good, but it's like every couple of months they've got some new little thing that they just fuck up with and they consistently fuck that up now it's offside yeah a, a couple of months ago it was people accidentally touching their hands and shit like that like yeah those rules may still be applied but it hasn't happened as much and like those offsides were happening before and nothing like that Bamford ever happened yeah, before that's one thing too funny you're wearing your lead shirt today actually I, I do want to go we, we did we completely skipped over this and we let the Varsals know, off yeah, with this one and yeah. we're not going to just go on about the Varsals the whole episode we've got some positives that we want to get to as well but we just thought there was a hole in in the international games and we realized that it was Varsals we were actually missing but Patrick Bamford put his arm out to point where the ball was to point where he wanted the ball. Because of how baggy his shirt was. They yeah. His armpit. They did an armpit again, and we just didn't touch on that. And that, to me, is probably the most ridiculous one I've seen all season. Well, he looks a little bit better in his lead shirt than he did in the Man City one, anyway. Who's that? Oh, I was. Oh, him, Connor. I thought you were saying Bamford because Bamford played. No, no. For, Bamford played. Did play for United, so I thought you were getting the the red. No. And the, yeah. Um, yeah, he does. It's a little. Uh, I mean, honestly, well, I was. Because I was, I'm not biased. For, for those who maybe didn't listen, Connor had to wear the City yellow and blue striped 99 Wembley shirt last which is, episode. Which is a lovely shirt, but... Yeah, I, because he I lost the... He lost shirt. the Premier League predictions we did, which we're missing this week, but we're posting them and we'll have them back next week. But yeah, the, the lead shirt looks nice. Just don't spill beer on it because it'll stain easy. But back to... The, back to <laughs> I have, I have my... I have, I have my old one. school massive as well, look. It is, yeah. Like a long short sleeve. Well, <laughs> I still have mine from... We used to wear. I still have mine. Yeah, I have the I have the long sleeve shirt and the yellow one from when I was a kid, but both of them both, for some reason, have throw up all over them, like dried up. <laughs> like it was when dad, it was when dad wore them to the pub. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But this is actually this isn't like a reprint like the City ninety nine yeah. shirt that I have. This is actually like from has held on to this, like you can tell. Yeah. Um yeah, I just did really quick actually, uh I didn't want to pass over it, but I do want to give a quick shout out to our new patron um who signed up to support us on patreon.com slash five pints in. Um his name his name got me actually. So <laughs> I'm not gonna reveal his real name because the way Patreon works is you put the name in that you want read out. So his name's Yule Love It. So I I messaged him saying thanks Yule for 
thinking it was his real name. So, uh, so and you do love it. Love, I do. Love yeah, that. yeah, I do. So, so you'll love it. Got the first round for us today. So we really appreciate that. Um, thank, thanks, for, thanks that's for joining probably, for the Patreon, man. Probably, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. That's probably the we most. Love we do love it. We do. That's probably the most censored version I've heard of that joke. It, yeah, yeah. So, it could have been. I was, I was reading it. Yeah, and I just yeah. didn't. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I just, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pass over that really quick. Um, before we jump into it, um, back to the virus holes real quick. We're bouncing around. One weird thing for me is I know we don't have in, in the international games, but in the cu- in the league cup as well, when they're playing at grounds that don't have the facilities to house bar or, or whatever what, what it needs i i'm not really sure it's just the the video oh yeah with all the cameras yeah, yeah, yeah that's so true. um i forgot we were playing um who did city play last year uh did we play does that oxford mean- last oxford last year and we didn't and there was no var but does that mean you you go to a neutral ground like wembley no they don't no, I'm saying, is that the solution? Maybe it doesn't matter when they expect to win 10-0 anyway. Yeah. But, I mean, you can't just say that, you know, because well, oh, right. Oxford can, anyone can win. It's just day. it's just inconsistencies considering how much it My does point, affect exactly. the game. Yeah. Like, we could go, at the end of the season, I want to go back and see what the table would look like if VAR didn't intervene wrongly, you know? Well, th- yeah, why don't they build a well, stadium? That would be a lot of work, that, mate, wouldn't it? Yeah, but, you know... I mean, they... they <laughs> spent- <laughs> To <laughs> spending the money in all the wrong places, so it's like, why not do yeah. something right for once? Yeah, it just yeah, it just, to me that's just inconsistent because it's like you could have two, you know, you you could have two different two quarterfinals going on, and one could be heavily affected by VAR, and one just might not have it, and it's exactly, like yeah, or just two rounds of be heavily affected, replay. yeah. Have it. Sorry, and be heavily affected by not having it. Uh, yeah, exactly. And also, like they say, Which the is we brought it in the first place. Yeah, the smaller teams they benefit but heavily then, then up again, from having the Premier League teams come to them, don't they? Because yeah, of the yeah. money. So yeah. it's even, then again it, it, in a domestic tournament. I feel it's like you play to your like you play you play the field. You know, like literally, like if you have a shitty pitch, it's like how people like used to play against Barcelona. They yeah. wouldn't water their pitch before they played them because. They wouldn't be able to move the ball around fast enough. Yeah, but they, you can... Ad- like you, can you know s- where the divots are in your pitch. Yeah, you know? that's true. Like, if you have divots, no fucking Premier League pitch has a divot, you know? Yeah, anyway, I mean, I so. guess I guess if you wanted consistent across the board, they'd just be... But then again, like, do Premier League players go there and maybe get injured on a... Like, because ne- they're so protected. Honestly, uh, I... I th- oh, cancel them competitions. <laughs> yeah. And they were talking. I mean, about- yeah, and you're laughing now until De Bruyne fucking sticks his foot in the ground, yeah. in like a pothole or something. They were talking look, about getting rid of the League Cup, weren't look, they? With- I, I did it from both sides, Con. You know. I know, but I played in the underdog side. I, yeah, I'm not. And six yeah. inches against big teams. Yeah, I loved every minute of it, and yeah. also loved the the thrill of the the banana skin cup tie, where you go in there with a big team to the smaller club, with the the event that you might slip up, you know. Yeah. So it, it's, 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 yeah. excite, it's excitement both ways, to be fair. And it's, it was the beauty of the cup. You know, I know we're, lo- we're losing it slowly, but, you know, it's, it's still there. I understand what you're saying. If you're going to go to one of them grounds, yeah, you, I'm, have to, I'm contradicting you have to myself, take what man. you're given. You have to exactly, take, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Levels the playing field. Yeah. yeah. You know, or fills the divots in. Well, it doesn't. Good to have way you want to look at it. Yeah. But, anyway, no, no miserable VAR. We've, we've done the VAR. <laughs> the VAR. Yeah, we've I mean, we finally got... we together again this weekend. Yeah, we finally got an excuse. Wait. We finally got an excuse not to talk about them, and we're talking about them, but... Yeah, um, on some actual... I mean, England are actually... I don't know if you want to get in them on yeah. anything, but I, I just recently heard... I forgot who was talking about it, but um, about potentially England hosting... Not the next World Cup, but the one after. Oh, um, I, I, yeah, like, I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind. I don't. I think it might be the one after that, you. isn't it? Because because twenty twenty six is the US. I, oh yeah, I, I'm yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, the one after that. Yeah, you know what? I, yeah, I remember who said it. I'm not going to say who it was. Yeah, I'll oh, be great. Mind. I'll be too old to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know what it's like, eh? Yeah, you we can were. FaceTime me. <laughs> hey, one thing I, I did want to say, you know, go, going to the international break, uh, I made a bit of a list. <laughs> Our teams didn't do bad, you know. Yes, yeah, I actually have look, some notes, yeah. Did you notice, look, Germany, Ukraine, Werner got two, Con. I almost said Sane got the other one, mate, and I forgot. 
He's not ours no more, no. is he? I had France Conte scored against Portugal. Jorginho got a penalty con. Yeah, you know. he did well with it though, didn't he? As he does against Poland. France Giroud got two against Sweden. Yep. Torres and Rodri got three. Four, and... of, four of the six yeah. that Spain got against Germany, smashing them. Torres got Kovacic. a hat trick, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Kovacic two and Ruben Diaz two in the in the Croatia Portugal. De Bruyne scored for Belgium today. Uh, Rice, Mount, and Foden two all four goals for England. Yeah. And even Suchek scored for the Czech. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. And Richarlison for Brazil against Uruguay. Yeah. So our teams, our teams did well. I, I honestly, I honestly just think it's the Premier League. I honestly think everyone's really like. Like they were so like prideful, the Italians or the French and all their league and Germans like that and Spanish. I think they're all realizing like the English Premier League is literally the best. Yeah, play. Like, well, well, literally. Yeah, I mean, you you see like Thiago came over, Werner came Aven- over, yeah, Bale yeah. came back. It's like, yeah, not necessarily them, but even just talks about like, like the whole like. I hate to say it, but the whole messy thing and everything like there's just this. I'm whole, not. Like, I'm not. I know. No, I'm, I'm not, not entertaining I'm not, that I'm shit not, anymore. I'm dude. not just saying that, but the whole like reason he yeah, wanted to go there because it was a step up, you know. And it's like I've seen people talk about how they regret that they never went to the Premier League and and that they're only just now coming out with it, and it's like becoming this fad that yeah or just realization that well, it's weird, isn't it? Because um, I mean, Barca and Real Madrid are, are sort of I, I mean, Bayern look incredible. As of last, as of end of last season, and and yeah, not, what they've done in the Champions League this year. No, they um, they are. Oh. Yeah, they smashed their their first three games, didn't they? Bayern in the group stages. <coughs> but they they did well, I think. I, I don't know about oh, the no, third no, no. game. No, I was thinking about. Um, but Real Madrid struggled. The, the one they came back on and uh, they won like five two. I forgot who that was against. The one that Sani put that, the. Um, I think it was his first goal in the Champions League for Bayern. He put it in the top corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they were down like. Well, it wouldn't have been Champions League. It was Wolfsburg. Yeah, they were down two one until the eighty something. Oh, minutes. I didn't hear him say Wolfsburg. Yeah, I thought you said. Um, I don't. Yeah, Salzburg. yeah, and, yeah. Oh, Salzburg. Salzburg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were down until late, Wolfsburg. and then. Red, Red Bull Salzburg. Salzburg. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you said Wolfsburg. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean. I thought England. I mean, that's that's a great list, isn't it? I actually did have a list like that, but not as extensive. Mine was just City players. So, um, but but <laughs> no, I had Declan Rice as well, and Foden. Yeah. Foden set up uh, Rice's goal as well, which was nice. Um, right. Put your little extra bit in. Yeah, well but done. but Torres with the hat trick. I mean, I've seen highlights of him like that before, and he he just mate, he looked he looked he looked good, mate, but. I, I don't know what Germany's defense was up to, man. Yeah, to yeah. They they couldn't they couldn't defend set pieces. They couldn't I mean, defend an open play. Did you see the you stat? Know, it, looked, it, looked, it looked like Brazil when Germany smashed them in the World Cup semi final. Yeah. Did you see the stat? It was like the worst defeat in ninety years or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. You don't expect that from the Germans, do you? No. Eh? Especially considering how well Bayern have been doing, and I mean, there's a a load of it's a, the the core of the Germany team, kind of, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. But, I mean, um, Messi had a few players missing, but so did Spain. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's what he was talking about. But how good are Spain when they've got everybody fit? I don't believe they're as good as Germany when Germany have got everybody fit. No, not at right all. Now? Because if you think of Spain's players, <laughs> they don't have like I mean that that generation that won the what was it the World Cup Euros World Cup the Euros or World opposite Cup. Euro. They're, they're World... in a rebuild, I think. They're in a bit of a rebuild right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But they've got some good young yeah. players. They're definitely someone to contest anybody. Yeah, clearly. Well, I, I don't really see anybody that you can say they, they're outstanding right now. In this, Oh, any um, national team? Well, any, they, on, any... on paper, there's so many, like the Dutch, yeah, supposedly the Germans. But you think uh, of France, France get, and then Portugal yeah. have like the best informed team, supposedly. Yeah, um, it's just it's almost like you know, has the quality gone gone down? Uh, you know, I mean, is it all gone up so much that some people are like slacking? Like, yeah, German. or or does it have something to do with the? You know, they're not necessarily all concentrated in one league anymore, you know? Like, I mean, the Germans yeah. are made up by a more diverse setup of different leagues than they've ever been, you know? I think what they're trying to say now, especially with what's been going on, the last month, 
and this month's games that people are tired and with the COVID and you know really making excuses for, for well, play, yeah. an average standard I think yeah making excuses for an average standard I, I, we, I know we've said it we probably, I think we said it last week why do you need the third game why do you need the friendly game thrown in as well as the two yeah you know they're meant the to two, I, I don't get that when everybody's complaining about too many games but look for us it's brilliant isn't it we've got we've got footy on every day yeah and, and we're going to go back into the, a good weekend with with some interesting games you know Liverpool Leicester City Tottenham uh, again on paper though Arsenal, but all the, Arsenal Leeds is going to be all those people one, injured and out yeah. because of these international games though well it's not just because of the international games they're complaining about their, their schedule anyway well of course but this just worsened it it worsens things anyway yeah I would say I, honestly I mean I enjoyed the international games I, I was able to watch this of course, week yeah. but I would say I think they I mean personally but, I know it's a hot, hotly contested topic but I would personally have said take they should have been given uh, the week off you know I mean look what they just maybe because of the way the league started and with the COVID and all that maybe they could have said forget the Nations League or whatever yeah Maybe they could have just said, let's let's just boycott that, finish it. Or, not do it. I mean, forget the friendly, though. Forget the first friendly. I mean, no, the friendlies, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they, they definitely should have just scrapped the whole international thing. Yeah. Like, uh, look you, what it look what this whole thing's just done to Liverpool. The uh, that wasn't the international break, mate. I that mean, was, no, no, no. Like, there's some which makes me question. What what are they? What is their training? What is their routine? What is what is the stretching? Well, technique? yeah, but oh. well, what do you mean that they're also one of the only teams where they had the same exact eleven throughout the whole season? You yeah, know, like they didn't really interchange that yeah. much because it yeah. worked. You can't complain. I I saw I saw a stat the other day. It's not I, I don't have the exact numbers, but City and Liverpool have the most. City have the most have had the most injuries this season. Liverpool have had the second, and then it's a complete drop off. Like it. I want to say it like it, it drops by like twenty five, thirty percent to the next team. Yeah. So I mean, it's hard to it's hard to really pinpoint where that is because it's no, not I like. I think Chelsea win that. Oh yeah, maybe. These, this, yeah, I I want to say we've had. I, I was mean, say per player, Chelsea probably have like ten times more injured than anybody else. I'm I'm, you, I'm strictly talking about hundred more players. I know that. Yeah, that, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like players on loan and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, to be fair, mate, I know. No, you we've. Pummeled England in the past, you know. Yeah. I thought they played, played all right today. Yeah. But mixed it up again. I, I just, I'm not sure about still searching, you know. Still searching for that eleven. Was it going to be as strong as the eleven he played, you know? But it, it picked up because, in all honesty, I'll tell you the truth. I was more interested in Belgium and Denmark. Yeah. I thought I thought I'd see a better game of football. Uh, I watched a bit of Holland and was it Poland? Thinking, you know. Yeah. Be something riding on it on the game itself, and then I kept flicking back and surprising myself by staying on watching England for a little bit. You know, even though it was a nothing game sort of thing. Yeah, but I mean, know, it like, seem better. It seemed like until the first England goal went in, England it was just a nothing. It was just a dull, really dull game, wasn't it? And then um, Rice scored the first goal, which was his first. England, uh, its first England goal competitively. I, I don't, I don't know if he scored in a friendly or not before. I don't think he has. It was Foden's first competitive England goal. Um, yeah. It's first two, obviously. And I just think you know, I always complained about England playing old, stale players, and now we've got these these young kids. And we do, you know, we we have we have had a go at England before and said the way of the the way of Gareth Southgate's playing style is just old and, and boring which I still think it is but I think there was a few sparks in today's squad and um, I mean we beat when we beat Ireland 3-0 as well I know it's a nothing really a nothing game but that was the first time we beat them since I think it was like 84 or something like that or it, it's it, you know there's not usually those games England Ireland end up in a draw when you, when you look back at the players that were in the Ireland squad back then mate they were yeah, all they're, notch. Yeah. yeah they had a quality not squad players you know yeah. what I mean so so maybe things have dropped off for a few countries. Anyway. Right. People have gone, well, look at Wales, mate. I, I don't want to have a pop, but they, they, look, they look poor, mate. You know what I mean? It's well, Scotland, they... Scotland have dropped away 
I'm going to probably shoot myself in the foot now because they're in our group, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Did um did is uh, did Israel end up beating Scotland today? Was I that... think it was one 0 mate. One nil. I don't know if it finished like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. They call it for the for the Euros, haven't they? On uh, honestly, who's Scotland? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Yeah, Scotland have yeah. I know Iceland didn't. The manager yeah, of Iceland watched, retired after today's game, but I watched like a ten-minute video of them celebrating. Yeah, just, I, I just I just realized when I've got it. And oh, they did. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. did. It happened like last week. I'm pretty sure. Uses me again. No, it wasn't last week. It was. I'm pretty sure it was before last last game. Though. No, I'm pretty sure it was a couple summers ago, wasn't it? Because because oh, yeah, the Euros. The Euros were meant to be last summer, so they oh, were qualification shit. for last. You're talking about next. They definitely qualified. Anyway. For the, this summer, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying it would have had to have happened a year ago. <laughs> is that a year ago? Is that the signal? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more over the head a year ago. Yeah. But I do. Th- I've just got a. I've got a couple notes from the England game today, and and the England squad in general. I think we've got a few. Like I said, we've got a few players who, like the. Okay, so we started off this podcast back in February talking so much shit about Jack Grealish. And I just it feel it wasn't shit. It wasn't shit. It was right. It was right in what we were saying. But I, I feel like shit. such a dickhead turning around now and saying I don't. He looked. He's changed. We haven't. That's true. Good point, Con. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you said that. You got to hold your hand up, right? Yeah. You know, if you've said it when when things are going wrong, like, look, we've said that out in the open. We're not we're not saying anything people don't see. Right. I mean, it's not like it's our secret. I've actually, yeah, I've actually been thinking about this. I was, I was gonna say, because of how much I was like just bragging on him. I, if he is our best player in the Euros, I'll get him, I'll get him on the back of my shirt, and I'll, <laughs> I'll wear it in public. He, he'd fall off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that was my other point. If he doesn't die, if he isn't the most fouled player yeah. in the Euros. If he's like well, fifth, maybe then I'll still get him on the back. But I fourth well, or below, I won't. That's what done me in the uh, the Belgium game. Yeah, they said, they said he was our best player. He drew lots of fouls. Yeah, that's not. Well, that's that like make you the best player. No, but know? that's that's the Neymar standard now, isn't it? It's it, yeah, it's it's bullshit, and that's the commentators buying in. Yeah, and, and causing most of the shit. Yeah, I, about it and saying it. Yeah, all I heard today I was that drives me as mad as watching him do it when he used to it's he seems to have cut it down which for me that's all we said i remember we had we had it i said he works his balls off yeah he falls down more than anyone but he works his balls off for his team they were a struggling team so you've got to give him that and now i think he he is looking like but is that but, is that but he's also not because he's that good or is that because Everybody else is stale and boring. No, well, no, I no, think no. He, but also, he, he also has an. He also now has a better, more confident team around him. Yeah, and he seems he's like one of those well, independent players that, like, you know, the right foot players that like to play it's, out. It's what it's what England needed for a long time, right? We were sitting there with H- Henderson yeah. and Dyer and and these these players in the midfield that are just like so. And I, Harry I Harry Winks, by the way. I hate this. No, no, no. no. Okay, well, let's switch I hate it to. This so much. Okay, well, let uh, let's. Okay, well, by I the, agree with you though. I, yeah, I completely. Agree. So so I hate it too because Fucking you know, bullshit, like you said, but the, I'm not gonna say his name anymore. Who Grealish? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that. He, okay. I just pulled up a quote that that reminded me of John Maynard Keynes, right? He said, "When the facts change, my opinion changes." You know, and the okay, facts yeah. have changed, so our opinions are not, allowed not to change completely. here. He's still a piece of shit for diving. No, yeah, but I'm just place. saying, just look at his look at his quality of play. England were thirsty yeah. and desperate we need him. We need for him. a creative player, and even De Bruyne said, we're, "England have been asking for a creative player." It's Jack Grealish. De he Bruyne said that? said that, yeah, a few months ago. But Foden is right there too. Sancho, Fo- Fo- Sancho's right there as well. Yeah. Mount, maybe you know. I don't he, think Sancho's there yet, mate. He looks good. He, he's he's I, I no. You see, I, too soon. I'm saying though, no, but he, in, he's in, the outlet in, that you need. Like what Hudson and Doy tries to be. Like yeah. what those wingers that are like trying to just be, some creativity. He, he actually yeah. has somewhat. I'm just, well, I know he's got ability. He, don't get me wrong. he showed a little bit at the end of today. I know he's got ability. I'm, I'm just yet to see. He's, he can't just be ten minutes, mate. No, I understand. You, you've got to come in. And he, I'm just. Saying, I think like, he has the quality to be like someone like a. I like, think he has the quality. I just don't see him producing it. 
I, I think he could go to a World Cup and be the best player of the World Cup. I'm just we saying he, he set up he set up Foden's second goal today, and what what England were desperate for were creative players. We thought back in the day Barkley was going to be it. We thought Wilshire was it. You, you know what he is? He's a winger like we've always had with like Chamberlain and Walcott and fucking Sterling and all that. That are just fast people where their feet are too fast for their brain. Sancho can actually yeah, play football. Okay, well, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off, sorry, but... So, 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 hey, my, that's my thing. My point is, though, we've got, we've got, okay, who's playing so, with? okay, so I'll take Sancho out of that for now, but Grealish and Foden, right? And I know that, you know, I don't want to give Sancho in, mate. Well, my point is, they've got to be given the freedom, yeah, to express themselves. exactly. Yeah, I, I don't believe England players are given that freedom or feel like they have, oh, them yeah, 100 from the manager, yeah, well, because. If well, look, think- look, Greenwood, Greenwood, one of our best players, isn't even in the fucking squad. So there's your freedom right there. Box up off the field or whatever. Yeah, but like to, you know, to what extent to that it, well, it damages well, happened, your career? What has happened? I'd say, well, what it seems to have happened is they got in trouble. He lost his spot in Man U when Foden was playing. Yeah. So Foden, Foden was getting more game time, so he brought him back, and that's what Southgate was supposed he, to. He step. still. He's back in without Greenwood. They don't come as a pair. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but for Greenwood has still more than proved himself. We need him. We, I will say, we I will say too. There was there was talks of um, Greenwood was really close with that City Academy player Jeremy Whiston who passed away. So I there was talks oh, that there yeah, was something know. before the squad picking there. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't know right. how true that is, but they, I'm just yeah, saying that I, was. I don't think it's punishment. Like like look at like look at fucking Harry Cantona. He, 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 he hasn't drunk. been playing. That's that's true. Yeah, he, yeah. he he pulled out the United squad as well again uh, for their last game. Um, I didn't know against that. Ever- I think it was against Everton their last game. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, I I don't know. Again, it might just be people. Who knows what it is? Oh, you yeah. know? I don't know. I just think he's one of the best players. Properly and stuff like that. Right. I know there was whispers going around. Not not that you believe everything, but right. Oh, yeah. You know, there's got to so. be some reason because he is a quality player. Exactly. And he did, one of our best he players. Is in that yeah. group. Yeah. He is in the group as far as I'm concerned. But I think... He's one that falls down too much as well, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but this is what I'm saying. I think Man United is ruining of, him, and I think though. England's ruining him. Yeah, he's got a lot of role models. That's the biggest thing for me, them being given the freedom to express themselves. Yeah. I would love to see the England, England team just go out and, and, and express it, especially them younger ones. Yeah, you Decla- Declan I Rice to, as well. I, I want to get excited about England again, mate. Yeah. And, and I, I, there's the players that will do it for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. Be but, but, at the back, be solid at the back. Get two older midfield players or one that that doesn't just go sideways and backwards. Right. Well, this is play, yeah. this is also you just keep possession. Well, this is I, I think a lad from Leeds could could do that job and and Calvin play, Phillips. Yeah, play killer balls also. I like but him. I don't think he's got that confidence for England yet. Right. To be doing what he does for Leeds, and you get selected because. of and I'm ranting a little bit, aren't I? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. No, no, no. Did you hear him? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, listen, you get picked for what you're doing for your club, and then you do come you? into the England squad and you do something different. Well, because the manager's. Okay, not yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was well, that, that's, that's one of the scenarios, but th- there's many others where you get picked for the England squad. Well, yeah, like, let's talk about Harry Winks for a second, okay? Actually, there's three players that do not belong anywhere near the England squad, and you're going to may disagree with me on one of them. Harry Winks... Don't say Hudson and Dodd. Eric Dyer and Tammy Abraham do not belong anywhere near that England squad whatsoever. So... Waiting for this. Wait, hold on. If you, Let's say you take four strikers. Oh, there you go. Four, stri- four strikers, you include in wingers, like... All right, no, three... Out and out strikers down the middle. Harry Kane, Calvert Lewin. Who else? I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I would. Oh, sorry. In a, in a in a squad of twenty. In a squad of twenty one, I wouldn't take him. Oh no! That's oh, what I'm yeah. saying. He oh, came okay. on today. It's like, what are you? He oh, I know. He doesn't touch the ball. And oh we've yeah. Got, no, we've got no. I agree with you. Yeah. Giroud. He comes on over Giroud and fucking pisses okay. me okay. off. But but Harry. But he's but, not. He's, but not, he's, the he's not. He's Abraham's not, not the worst. Oh yeah. He's not so far off. No, no. Calvert Lewin's just. Shut up! If it wasn't yeah. for him, Tommy Abraham. Yeah, fine, spot, but you know? Harry Close Winks doesn't even. I mean, does he play for Tottenham? Like, what is he doing? Yeah, he, he has been a little bit. Yeah, but, or but, maybe I've only noticed him starts, a little bit. I don't believe he starts recently, but I no, I think he does. I think he's just not noticeable. I, I think the thing with Harry Winks, I don't mind him because he's neat and tidy. Honestly, a, a year yeah. ago, a year ago playing for Tottenham, 
I thought, yeah, you know what? Everyone else has been given a cap. Why not? And I oh, think now, I, I agree now, with that. Well, now he's fallen away because he isn't a regular. Well, I don't understand how he's brought in, to be honest with you. Yeah. He is neat and tidy, but he's a safe player. He's a, he's a Southgate type of right. safe player. He's right. Scott he Parker. Me first he's Scott Parker honest. that doesn't go flying in with his head. Yeah. He, um, I think it was. It could have actually been two years ago. I'm pretty sure because he was just as good as he was two years ago, and it was like he yeah. has he has potential and I thought he that, deserves yeah. a spot. And then it was like, okay, well, he hasn't gone anywhere. He hasn't gone anywhere. I feel the same if way anything, about, he's gone back. I feel the same way about Tom Davis as well. Yeah, I feel like he's a very similar player to Tom Davis at Everton. I think it's yeah. just. They're uh, just very safe. Gendouzi. You know, now, okay, so now there's no room for just center mids. You're either just center defensive mid or you're center attacking mid. You know what I mean? And yeah. they're both center, center mids, and most systems don't accommodate that. Most systems, you either have to be sort of the creative number 10 or the number <coughs> six ish. Well, when yes. we're playing the well, Spain Gordon Action 4 4 2. See, the biggest thing for me, and we've said it before, we'll go into a tournament, and it doesn't matter what he's done before, he'll go safe. He'll go safe because yeah. he'll, he'll go pension. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So today, so as much, I mean, today's first twenty-ish minutes were boring as hell, but today's the creativity. After we probably won't see it because today's game. Was Iceland. No, that, I know. That's yeah. what I've been waiting to say as well. Yeah, but Iceland were decent. What like their players? Name one player that they have. Uh, they've got Bjarnason from uh from. Uh, Burnley or Goodmanson from who's the one from Burnley? The, the right wing, right? The right mid, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's yeah, the only. Then that's got, the only person I recognize. They've got the. Uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't start for Burnley, mate. That's yeah. He doesn't thought, anymore. Okay. I thought that as well. Yeah. Well, also they said they said all the players, most of the players in the Iceland team today were thirty. You remember when something I, years old? Remember when Iceland beat us in two thousand sixteen? Yeah. The goalkeeper, I'm pretty sure, was a film director, and football was his second job. And, no, I think you. And the coach, oh, the second right. yeah, coach, yeah, 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 was yeah. a dentist. Yeah, you're right. They beat us two one. Yeah, but they had like yeah, and that was when Sigurdsson looked okay before before yeah, this season and last where he, he still where he didn't fell even off do anything it. special in that game. Yeah, who was and then they had that Cardiff player with the long throw and the ginger guy with the beard. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah. <laughs> I just think like yeah, look, there you go. Yeah. yeah. You, pro- you right. probably know his films. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you know, fine. And then, you know, and we lost to Belgium whatever. I just felt uh, Oh no, I'm not saying they're a bad team. It's just, I just it's think, someone in England should be beaten. But I just felt he took a risk today. Well, I say that, but we went 2-0 up and he made two defensive <laughs> substitutions against 10 men. Basket helmet and a safety net. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't take a risk today. It's Iceland, mate. No, but There's we nothing. just not There's a nothing Oh. No, but we had we had some creative players on, you know. Well, you know what? Maybe that's why they played with freedom because there was nothing to play for. Yeah. Or maybe it but is. Here, a... when there's something to play for, they won't be given that freedom. I think I think Foden and Grealish will take that freedom anyway when they can, you know. That's the beauty of them them younger players. Yeah, be fearless. Like they the, be the they confidence. Be into it. Yeah, they should be led into it. Uh, and and cajoled and maybe conned a little bit. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you mess up. You know, yeah. I want you to go out and, and play with no fear. Yeah. And be yourself, you know? Well, what, what, wasn't there a time? And yeah, obviously, the, like coronavirus and everything like that, if you whatever, whatever. But wasn't there a time where like, like Beckham and, and that, it was like the most rebellious players were the ones that because they're in the paper all the time, it was like there would be an uproar if they didn't start for England, even though they did get in trouble. You know? Well, yeah. Like oh, that but... whole like Man United, um, <clears throat> the five of them. The, uh, obviously, Skulls never got into anything, but that whole yeah. group. I remember, like, mm, they were trying to be like, you know, like remember when they showed up to the like the FA Cup in the white suits and that. Like they were just trying to be different. You know, as stupid well, they... as that was, like they were. They're... Yeah, but I, I don't know. Now it's like everyone's so sensitive; they're not condoning it to where it's like, oh, you have to do your time. But you yeah. look, I, yeah, I, I think what's happened is it's just ruining the. I, I don't, I don't footballer. believe Southgate really wanted Grealish in his system. Mm-hmm. I really think he throws his system off a little bit. Well, and I yeah, think he just forced the issue. Yeah, I think. He well, have you seen? Have you seen the interviews about? Um, People like not the I forgot what game it was, but it was one of the first games that Grealish did well for England. 
And um, what else? I think yeah, I think so. And someone asked about Grealish. They're like, oh, he looks great, doesn't he? He's been doing so well with Barkley. Oh and yeah. Joanna. And so then, I'm talking about Mason Mount. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, yeah, he's doing well. So Mason Mount was mm. doing, and he wasn't even playing with Chelsea at the time. He's like, he's doing great. He's doing well for his club. He's yeah. coming on a sub, and it, he just kept like diverting the question. And yeah, and like you said, Grealish is like forced the issue. And that, yeah. and honestly, that's why I'm 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 hopping on that bus. Yeah. Listen, guys, I need to interrupt really quick to thank our sponsor, Sports Vids. The holidays are coming up, and if you know someone that loves football, boxing, Olympics, darts, or cricket, then get them a personalized video shout-out from sportsvids.com. Choose from football legends like Ian Bishop, Tony Carty, Sean Goater, and other stars, Bobby George, Monty Panazar, and Kelly Southerton. Give them some info about your friend, workmate, or family member, and they'll do the rest. It's a knockout idea for a birthday, wedding, special event, or even for a bit of banter, and also is a great Christmas present. You can also order a pep talk or a team talk for a football team or a sports team. Let's say you run a pub league, and uh, you know someone's being a little bit of a wanker at half time. You can get Ian to to record a video and yell at them. Uh, what would you say to them at half time if they were four <laughs> nil down, and little da- <laughs> little Davy was being a bit of a dick on the pitch? What would you say? I'd probably say something like, "Any more of that, and you're out." You'll never play again, you little shit. <laughs> exactly. So you can get that kind of motivation at sportsvids.com. Sportsvids, personalized video shout-outs from sporting heroes. Get yours now at sportsvids.com. I was going to say, I, I may actually post one because you didn't fucking call me last Christmas. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I, I was banging down to the dementia. So. You, you'd have to do the script for me then. Yeah. <laughs> You're my favorite son. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get back into. I've got still got a few more points uh, on the England team that I want to talk about. Um, first of all, why is Eric Dyer taking a free kick? Can anyone? Can, he scored can, that one five years ago. No, I know. Yeah, I, was it? Against, it was against Portugal. No, or? actually, you know what? Yeah, I think it was. He went in and he hit a fan, so he gets to do whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he has complete free. He can take the World Cup home if he wants. With him. he wins. How oh, you feel? Yeah. I mean, I I don't gonna stop him. I don't agree with him. First of all, I don't think he's a centre back, and second of all, I don't. No, think... he, he shouldn't. He shouldn't be in an English chair. Yeah. Unless, uh, until he figures himself out, until he figures out a position, because I, I think he does have something. He's a footballer, but it's he's, yeah. he's in limbo. It's like he plays one of the like a sweeper or a um, a stopper or whatever the, whatever they're called. It's like the the position is that he should be perfect for is outdated. Hmm. Yeah, because he's, I mean, he's not bad, but I just don't no, understand yeah. when you've got, like, I mean, even Harry Kane can take oh, a free kick. I mean, did it, you see Mason Mount's free kick? Uh, yeah. It was it, he skied it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, just um, outside the box. Yeah. I mean, you've got Kieran Trippier, who, to me, puts Kieran in Trippier, a, yeah. such a good ball. Well, you Alexander know? Arnold's probably the best free kick taker other than Messi right now. Yeah. Um, we well, had this he, board prowess, mate. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But just after he's scored two, I know. Yeah. Still. All right. I'm, I'm saying. saying I'm the... saying that's gonna play for a national team, because uh, unfortunately, yeah. War Prowse, you're not gonna get an England spot just for. You know, if you have ten amazing no, did, players did, around did, you, then yeah, I put Ward Prowse in. I did see. Was it today or was it against Belgium? That there was. We did have a free kick in the. Dyer was standing over it with Trippier. He did it twice today. There's five. There's but he five took, or six. He, he took one. He took one today and he smashed it into the wall. There's about five or six England players who think they're all David Beckham and yeah. they're not. You know? I'm glad you said Beckham and not Cristiano Ronaldo. I was talking about actually scoring free kicks. Yeah, score. Yeah. Well, he scored a couple, but when you look at the ratio. No, I know, yeah. I mean, you look back at that, that Greece game, he took like, what, like nine free kicks that game and it was the last one that went in. And I was, was on about Ronaldo, mate, not Beckham. Oh, yeah. Well, both. Well, hundreds and hundreds that he took. Yeah, Beckham's ratio's got to be way better than Ronaldo's. Uh, uh, I, no, I definitely think Ronaldo scored more free kicks than Beckham. Yeah, but that oh, means he's he, I think he's took more. Just, oh, yeah, going yeah. To, just going back to your point. Yeah, you're right. Is he is he our best centre back? Nope. No. Is he our best holding midfield player? Nope. No. And yet he plays. Put a yellow vest on him. Almost every game. Yeah. I, I mean, I you know, I, I don't 
I don't hate him. I just don't. I just he's, think he's, he's one got... of the he's one of the perfect players to take to a World Cup because no matter who gets injured, he could probably he could slot in. Yeah. yeah, kind of like Milner. Yeah, you yeah know? I see that, mate. Yeah. yeah. I see a little bit of, and I think he, but, but you he, know, wear the England shirt proud as well. Versatility is one thing, and then when you haven't really got a place or a position, but, but it's like he's normal in all positions. You know, he doesn't. There's no peak in a position where he's going to take it over anyone else. No, know? no. He'll do. He'll do the job and no more. I mean, unless he scores a fucking free kick like he did five years ago. Yeah, but you've got you've got other players. My point is, you got other players on the pitch to do that. You've yeah. got players lining up. I, he wouldn't be my. I, why he took a free I wouldn't, kick? I wouldn't at have all. Harry Kane. I wouldn't have Dyer. I wouldn't have. You would let Kane take one. Yeah, one, and then never again. <laughs> Once he either smashed it or puts it. It depends away. who else is on the field or done it. Like you say, you haven't got Alexander Arnold. Yeah, no, you, but Trippier. Yeah. Why? I don't see anything wrong Trippier, with Trippier's I free mean, kicks. His goal against Croatia. Even though I did say it when it happened way too early. Should yeah. have just skied it because he should have known England can't defend and or hold a lead. I'm just saying I'd have Trippier or Kane out of play out of the players that were on the pitch today. Out of the players that were on the pitch today, I'd have tri- I would just wouldn't have Dyer taking a free kick. I just knew he was gonna smash it into the wall, I, which I would he have did. Dyer just as much as I would have Kane. No. We don't have a lefty, do we? We've got Foden, but I mean he, he, we haven't right. seen him. Damn. Three kicks. I mean, he's only just coming into the fray. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's. I mean, he's but who does that? Who does right have now. a right and a lefty? Other than German, who has both? Yeah, I mean, we City have Mares. Are yeah, we just City talking about won. international? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. How's that? City, yeah. You're just saying as people in general. Go, like, well, no, international. It, it's obviously harder. You um, know? yeah. When, when are you ever going to get a double Filter and a De Bruyne in the same team? I don't know. Won't happen again, will it? Like, who's lefty for Belgium other than Vertonghen, you know? For Belgium? He doesn't even play no more, does he? He does. He, he, yeah, he does. I'm pretty sure he's captain now because uh, Hazard's not playing. Uh, Lukaku. <laughs> yeah, good luck on a fucking Did you see Lukaku's header that. today, by the way? Well, mate. Lukaku's header today was, was cool. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I've got, I, I, you know what? I wouldn't have minded him coming to City, even from United. Yeah. I honestly wouldn't. You know what's uh, the worst thing about all these players doing well? I always see on whether it's social media or I just go to somewhere and someone brings it up. Just like Salah, De Bruyne, Lukaku. You know all the like. It's like the ex Chelsea players. Yeah, I feel like any time we mention any of these players, this is the the holy goes down, isn't oh, it? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> well, not necessarily because <laughs> I know I know Chelsea are a club that ruins yeah. players and. But it's just how absurd it is. Like, no other club has let go of it, players also, like De Bruyne, Salah, Lucas. Well, it's, also, it's also Mourinho because... Top of the three right now. Pardon? Of our teams, you're sitting top of the three. You're sitting fifty, the highest of any of our teams right now. What do you want me to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to be happy? We've got, just, we've got just, a game you in know, When you go, you go. I don't want to be on suicide watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we need like a sad track with like yeah. some rain in the background every time you talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I hate to say this because if any any actually real Chelsea fan ever, if there was one that watched this, um, they would hate the way I talk about them. But for you, I, I, I do love them. We're I, we're I, made up mostly of of City West exactly. Ham fans. We got some Bournemouth fans, and, and even and, they're getting sad when you talk about, about yeah, this shit, and they and they don't give I a know. shit. About but Chelsea. they understand because West Ham, Bournemouth, those are the teams. No offense, teams that Chelsea are supposed to beat, but they're the teams that Chelsea lose to. So I do think that they actually have the sympathy for me. But, but it was just letting Nathan Ake go to Bournemouth and then go. To oh, Manchester. there's another one, yeah. And he was on he was on loan for two years, I think. He actually um, just got injured. I think he did his hamstring. Yeah, but you've got Rudiger. Apparently, the Apparently fastest Apparently fastest Apparently player in the league. Loan are interesting. <laughs> hey, don't don't yeah, don't worry. We have our our best defender just sitting on the bench with that's Rudiger like, Christensen. Like, that's like the shite I heard today. Arsenal swapping Xhaka for Christian Eriksen. Really. <laughs> Wait, Arsenal. Sh- Ar- wait, I Arsenal swapping yeah. Jacker for yeah. Christian Eriksen, Schwa- really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was Jacker from the local swapping, Dutch news. <laughs> That's like swapping Messi for a bag of crisps. Yeah. Shambles. Yeah. How was that going to happen? Sorry, I, I did want to bring that up as well. Tomore always has a spot. He's England's best centre back. 
He's not being called though, is he? He's he's not being put in the Chelsea squad. Yeah, but that means he when deserves he to be called up to England. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's if you don't, if you, <laughs> if he's been on lockdown for about seven months. <laughs> yeah. Then. yeah. He, he was he was injured for a little bit, but he's Chelsea's best centre back. He's England's best centre back. If if Stones doesn't pick up his fucking Stones, so. You know, speaking Sorry, of speaking, of your jokes. yes, speaking of England centre backs too. Harry Maguire. First of all, oh, I I, mean, I will nah. I will repeat every single episode for the rest of this podcast life that I hate Harry Maguire with all of my don't, heart. No, don't say you hate him. He's wearing a Man United shirt, and Man United make you like that. He is a a little bitch. Like any have you have you ever as seen? A center, have you seen how tall he is and how big he is? And he goes down like I mean, you know, you see, you say, you see Grealish go down. You, say, you see, you, you say, see, you say, you see Grealish go down. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, it's the shirt. Listen, honestly, it's the yeah, shirt. but but you look at it's even worse when someone with Harry Harry Maguire's stature goes down. Oh yeah, and also he's picking up the ball thirty yards from goal. Don't know what he's doing there when you've got Kyle Walker in the same position on the other side. Why is this is probably a Southgate issue actually? But why isn't Walker going for like they they're playing the back three with the they're trying to do the overlapping centre back thing today at least, and you've got Kyle Walker who's a full back. What do you what do you think? It was again. Iceland, yeah, but why isn't why isn't Southgate giving Walker the freedom to go forward and leaving Maguire back there? Why is Maguire ending up on the ball? Maguire Maguire in just shouldn't. Half. No matter how good he is, even though he isn't, he's not. I mean, he's he's definitely all right. He was he was great for Leicester. He's and like Man United's like, made him shit. He's, whether he's, it's the he's Southgate the England anything. quality, that's what he is. Sure, whatever he does, whether he's fucking the best centre back on the planet, he should not play in international games because he's such a risk with all these fucking penalties where he's fucking judo wrestling people to the ground. Yeah, but he gets away with it. He does now, but people are calling him out, and I don't want. I want him to be punished at Man United. I don't want him to be punished at England to yeah. where it affects me. Here's the problem. With, with England, like, our problem has already always been, it well, in the past decade or so, it's been Man creative It's been creative midfielders. Now we yeah. have a decent, you know, I would say we have an abundance of creative midfielders, but we're playing centre-back heavy, and that's where I think our problem is now. We don't have solid, solid centre-backs, but we're playing with three of them. But does that have to do with the abundance of right-backs? Because... Well, you, in, in, you your, in your argument, Kyle Walker doesn't play unless we have three centre backs. Look, I, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if, like, if you're short, it, right? Yeah, does he start as as right back? And imagine, imagine I being a team, fit. and but, imagine being a team where you have Kyle Walker at your disposal and you don't play him. It's here's the thing: if you're team. playing, if you're that's playing, what, that's what Southgate actually has done correct. If you're even playing, he's doing it in the worst way. Look, if you're playing three games. Kyle Walker starts at right back. If you're playing four at the back and you're playing three games in the week, you'd start Kyle Walker at right back. You wouldn't start Kyle Walker at centre back with a back two. But what I'm saying no, is, if you're no, short no, on no. centre backs, why wouldn't you play two well, centre backs, well, not three? You know what I'm saying? Well, because well, because Kyle Walker covers up for the other centre. I, I understand, but he's being he's being like his talents are being then they're not they're non-existent but, like but, that. But also he is. But you've got Eric Dyer, Maguire as the other two centre backs. Yeah, like... no, no, yeah. Forget the middle and the left side of it. You, you just got to focus on that. Kyle Walker has to, uh, you know, like he, he has to. <laughs> right. He has to play in a different position, a foreign position. My point you know, earlier though is because got, there is my point right earlier backs. though is you've yeah no that's okay I well I'd say he's 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 competing with Alexander Arnold I and think he's can't... he's better than Trippier okay so. I'm not saying... Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm not saying Alexander-Arnold's better than him. I think Alexander-Arnold's one of the best dead but, balls. But then whatever. They but, compete. But you have to play both of them. You can't leave one out. And the only way that you could do that is, is if you play... Kyle yeah, but, okay, three, but look, here's right my point. Three. You've got Maguire ending up... Or, or, let me just say, what he's done on the right side... Go on the left. left side also. I mean, Cancelo the, does it, one, doesn't he? 100%. You have a Chilwell as the, as the third centre-back on the left side... Who can get forward as well? But the but, but then again, Chilwell Chilwell is is literally he's been doing. Remember that that crazy season? I, I know Baines was scoring free kicks and that, but Chilwell's kind of having a season where it's like everything he touches, mm -hmm. he's doing like a, a De Bruyne. But he didn't play today. Ball. I yeah. know. Yeah. Actually, he's yeah, just coming back from if, injury as well. Though, so. You'd rather you'd rather him be bombing on. Well, Harry Maguire. Chilwell, was, exactly. Well, yeah. Chilwell be in them positions. Right. Exactly. Right. 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 Yeah. But here's here's my point. You've got Kyle Walker on the pitch and Maguire's bombing forward. Yeah. 
So what? I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand it. It's not like Maguire's left footed. That might have been to do with. I think Saka got forward a little bit more than Trippier. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense because now you've got Saka and the left centre back also, going forward at the same also, time. Also, Saka for Bonf- Arsenal. Saka plays well when he started. He played front of three with Aubameyang and either Lacazette right. or someone else. So he was playing in the most attacking positions. So well, whether he gets forward. Of- Saka actually, by the way, just to just to just to touch on this one, we're on it. Saka had a oh, great. Left- he had a great a game today. He's yeah, Saka had a great game today. Al he he was involved in. I I know against Iceland we can, Al- we can no, have no, that no, caveat. But I'll forever say this, and I've I've I have been saying this. Saka is one of England's best players, and he will be. He's playing left back. I know he is, but that it's like kind of like saying. Kyle Walker. It's you got to do what you got to do right now because he's he hasn't. He's been every time I see. Every time I I used to watch Arsenal for him. Yeah, I mean, okay, but like, he, I my love him my so point much. my point Saka had a great game and I'm today. Glad, my I'm glad he's playing. That's my, my point, point today is if Maguire goes forward, you're essentially with a back four in that moment. Maguire has boots what? on. Like, why isn't Walker the one going forward? Yeah. I understand that. Well, it just it. I'm not. I don't. I understand. I'm not going to get an answer out of this you, because no, no, no. You know what? It, it just it's, doesn't it's, make sense. But it just bo- it just pisses me off. You know what it is? It's it's exactly what I said before. It's Maguire thinks he has all this fucking. But it's Southgate as well. I think. Well, because I, we, all, we overload that side. That's what it is. Yeah. I, I, I don't think. I was just about to say this to you earlier. <laughs> what do you think a, a halftime talk with Southgate? Well, that's is what like? I'm saying. Do, Does do Southgate just... not see that and think I could exploit that by putting Walker in Maguire's spot and put Maguire over the right and tell Maguire to just sit the fuck down back there and you then know? Then you got Kyle Walker bombing on on his left side. That's. But it wasn't. It was down the middle almost. It was. It was on the inside of the winger. It was like. I mean, no. he's. You know. He, he just. What are you going to do? You're going to slide further and further over until he falls off the pitch. No, I'm just saying. Well, no, but he he still. What is Ma- what is Maguire? He still he still has the pace. Creswell does it at West Ham. Yeah, exactly. Go yeah, from left back to go. that left side of centre. Exactly, back. but still not losing nothing physically. Yeah. You but know why is Maguire doing it? That's my question. Uh, there's nobody. There's no left-sided centre back fit right now, is there? Okay. No, but Maguire's right-footed, so okay. why not put Walker there? Well, so is Kyle Walker. No, I know, but Walker could bomb on better. I'm saying the quality. All, right, insta- all right, but realistically, yeah, but people are, are, are with the left foot. Realistically, are if we are playing, if we're playing a back three, none of them should be bombing on. We should be. We should be. Like playing like we're playing against Germany. Well, the or thing Spain is, if, if any of those back three are bombing on, it just shows we should be playing a back four. Not necessarily. It, like with Depends with bombing pose- with bombing wingers, I think. None. I mean, why why can't yeah, that? You're changing the whole system then, so something else has to fall yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's it's in in an, in another place. That's like, that's what it's like. You, I remember. I don't, you, think you knows, point... I don't think he knows what is best. That's my point. And his best system. You know what it is. You, you know? know what it is. Southgate is. Stuck in his old way so much that this whole Pep Guardiola and I think you pointed it out with like Zabaleta used to play right back and he ended up in midfield. Yeah, like La- like he did with Lam at Bayern. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, this whole new age of actual formation and and picking it all apart, <clears throat> Southgate just doesn't have. It's like he doesn't he understand. The England manager at the wrong time. Like, na- you know? like now, it's there's two formations. There's in possession and out possession. I exactly. know that was always a thing. Exactly. Yeah. But now it's like it, you, like could, you, don't you could you could literally a... look at it like yeah. that, right? Like when Pep's in possession, his fullbacks are it's, central it's defensive not just midfielders. Like press that side of the pitch. Right. Press that side of the pitch. It's but okay. How... Now we defend like this. Yeah. We attack like this. But like, that's how it's... Southgate plays. He just he's just he's stuck in the nineties. Well, I mean. Th- yeah, well, I mean, this has always been the thing, and I think ba- that whole Barcelona squad were the ones that like brought it to light as of recently, anyway, because they're the ones that, like, said like, uh, you, you work more. Well, they said you work more on the ball than you do off the ball, you know. And I know they close down in packs like sheep and that. You mean but... off the ball? They work more off the ball than on the ball? No, 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 no. Because when they get the ball, they won't let you have it. They're moving oh, right, yeah. so much. I know that's what I was saying, but when they did close down, and I know you remember, they literally were like a herd of sheep. I I know the Dutch team did it in, I think like the eighties or something. And there's there's footage of them, and they look. I think a pack of wolves rather than a herd of sheep. <laughs> well, no, no, this is. I, I, I know, I know, I know that's a bad description, but I mean, I forgot who it was, but I'm pretty sure it's the Dutch. You're still following someone. Well, no, no, no. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, um, uh, Cruyff. 
I'm I could be wrong. He, did he ever manage the Dutch team, or it was someone that was like a like a Dutch player that was like a legend? And, I mean, he managed Barcelona. I, yeah, I know. And he, yeah, but um, it was like the the way they defended because they could back then because there wasn't really any outlet. <laughs> I gotta show you, and it's literally a herd of sheep. And what they do is like all ten I think outfield seen, yeah, players yeah. just go to the ball because the people the pitch wasn't flat enough. You know, you couldn't control it better to where you couldn't stop ten people coming in like rugby tackling you. You know, and that's how yeah. Barcelona did it to a certain extent. Yeah. So, but I always I always used to say you work harder. You should work harder when you have the ball. Well, that that's what I'm saying. That's Give what Barcelona did. And then Barcelona changed it. Well, because to, every time, every they worked, they worked really hard when he had it. But then they brought in. We also work even harder when we don't. Yeah, that's you know? literally, yeah, literally became, what I just said. Yeah. Yeah, they became the best at winning it back. Also. Yeah. As well as the best. But at keep- but when they won it, the people that won it back were the likes of Iniesta, Xavi, Messi, David Villa. You know, Jordi yeah. Alba. So when the people that were defending also could spread out, find space. You know, every time a Barcelona player had the ball, especially, and I always think he's one of the worst footballers ever, even though people say he's one of the best five-side players ever, but Sergio Busquets, whenever, throughout his whole career, whenever he's been on the ball, he's had at least five options in front of him, never mind his <laughs> centre-backs and his keepers, yeah. in front of him that he could just simply play it to. Still that, that's why, yeah, exactly. That's why they did what they did for so many years. Yeah, I actually lost my train of thought while I was talking <laughs> so much, but you brought it back. That's all right. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think I don't think Southgate can comprehend that. He's stuck in the. I just, I just don't believe he's capable now. I don't think he's got it now, where he gels us as a team. Exactly. Back and forth suits what he wants for his defensive yeah. system. You it's know like what I mean? it's like he's lo- he's, yeah. he's looking at he's looking two at a screen. Issues. Yeah, it's two separate yeah. issues. That we can't find that that gel. But but well, maybe maybe Foden, Grealish, maybe maybe but, things will be I've different. actually I've I've actually been meaning to talk to you guys mm. about this because um I didn't want to talk about it until the podcast, but we haven't spoke about England that much. I was gonna to say to you, um what uh England are good. It's just we need better players. But we have better players, you know? Like th- like Chamberlain is injured. I'm not saying he's the best player, but he wouldn't. Someone, he wouldn't make it in the England squad. If he's fit, he's he someone wouldn't. you start every single no, day. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Anyways, first of all, he is Greenwood. I know we've talked about Chamber- him Chamberlain. Makes it in your starting eleven. First of all, I know he doesn't because you sent me. Not, not we, right we, now. We did no. the starting eleven. Well, no, he's not, still injured. I think he's talking about a squad. I think he's talking about. Well, a squad. yeah. Well, I think he can come on and impact games. Okay, but oh, if Chamberlain's yeah, fit, if Chamberlain's fit, he's, he's like a be- he's a better Walker. If Chamberlain's <clears> fit, <throat> you start him in your starting eleven. I haven't seen no because he. Well, hasn't you just been, said okay. He well, has, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying he's someone that okay, like he doesn't would have start. He, I'll start him over Henderson every single day of the week. They're not the same position. No, Chamberlain, I know he play. I know he plays there, but okay. to me, Chamberlain's a winger. You know. I mean, Chamberlain hasn't been a winger for like the last since Arsenal. I know that's why he left Arsenal because he was getting played at right back. But like, he he's still at Arsenal. He, he broke. Okay, but he's now. not good enough on the ball to play in the midfield for me. He's better. He's better than most people that we have. He's not. He's, he's not better than all, He's not better than Henderson. He or, is playing times. a pass. No, he's he's not a better passer than Henderson. What do you mean? If there's one quality, Hen- 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 if there's if there's one quality Henderson has, it's being able to pass the ball, and he doesn't have it. Because Henderson, he he can't like he just plays the most no, simplistic of passes. No, no, no. What are you talking? About? He plays a he plays a ball across the pitch no. that when a man well like when Alexander Arnold has twenty yards of space around him. He's, he's Henderson. It's it's just and I hate to say it. It's like I I, I really hate to say it. it's like the the what are they call like the the pigeon toad or whatever like that what David Luiz has. You can't. No, I you, think you're not Gerard. You I know, think I think strike a ball like I think that. Henderson's a decent passer of the ball. I, I think how? he's better than what pa- passer? How like like long range or like cutting through the <clears throat> the defense? No, or not like cutting through the defense. Back long, to, long range and he's pass. very good at passing to Van Dyke. I'll give him that. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I'm not down. Like, All right. I, 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 if I we just, have a if we have a spot <clears throat> for a captain, if our team's good enough to where we can put Henderson, because I don't think Henderson's a bad player. He's not a world class player. Yeah, he, he can win the. He's a player that can. Worst players have won the World Cup. Right. Okay, but he, I think, if I we think, have, yeah, I mean, go on. 
gonna he's gonna go tried and tested. Exactly. Go, right. Exactly. And, and like what, every single and, no, every other manager that's, that's has ever done. Yeah. But I, but I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to see something else. When is the next international games? Is it March? March. Yeah. So we, yeah, so. I'd like to so see essentially, have, I'd like to see him have a team, a first eleven that he says. You're gonna play. Yeah. You're gonna play the two games, three games. Yeah, but whatever. he's not. He's not gonna do that because that was what this break was for. Yeah. To establish that first eleven, and he's gonna go. It's he's it, March. It. Look, he's we, wasted it by no, playing. This is your last chance. Yeah. Is it, or was this your last chance? Well, March. No, March is your last chance. It's your last chance. Well, to prove yourself. Yeah. No, this was your last chance to try people. For me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Your last chance I mean. to get your settled eleven. Exa yeah, but to go into that ton and go into the tournament. Whoever we play in March, go into the tournament kicking people's ass. Yeah, with, with that eleven, go in. Yeah, but all it takes is for play Scotland in the first. We have reputation. All it we won't is... be drawn in Scotland's group though, because we isn't it? It's seeded, I think, like that, isn't it? The Euros. Mm. No, the groups already came out. Did they? Are we in Scotland's group? Yeah, we have Scotland. Um... Croatia, is it? Cro Scotland, Croatia, and... Um, well... Do you want to skip this? No. <laughs> <laughs> we I can, think when we do this... We'll go all it, it. All it takes is for us to play Scotland first and go fucking defensive. Yeah. We don't and then that Scotland. sets the... All right, I, I don't know, but I'm, all it takes is for that Scotland and that sets the tone of our tournament. We don't, we don't play Scotland. We don't go to the pub Last. to... Do we? But they're all at Wembley. All our games are at Wembley, the three games. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, well, clearly I'm out of the loop was, here because that's I, why I was talking. About I thought the, the Euros, um, the whole know, England hole in the world. The all this confuses everyone. Who, who's yeah. the who's the fourth? Don't know. Is I'll, I'll, I'll look it up if you guys talk. Talk, talk, talk amongst I mean, yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. I did look at it today. I know it's Croatia, Scotland. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, yeah. And it's another tough one. It's another tough one. Now, I mean, what do you mean another tough one? It is another tough one. That, well, that's not going to be easy. Why not? They just lost. They just lost Modric somewhat. The only person okay. that did anything against them. We've got. We've got. Uh, Suchek in the Czech Republic. There you go. Is it? And and you know what he does? He scores yeah. in the ninety fucking fifth or sixth minute to get Czech Republic through and just maybe don't Scotland. Speak about him before it. Just won't speak about them before it. Yeah, exactly. We play... So the first game is against Croatia at Wembley the day before your birthday, June 13th, actually. Yeah, it always is. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, it starts on the 11th, I think. The first game's on the 11th. Oh, yeah, group, sorry. Yeah, group A, like yeah, group A play on the 11th, Turkey, Italy. But, yeah, I, okay. I mean, it's just... I mean, obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a messed up schedule because of everything that's going on, but... It's a, it's a I don't group think, if we don't get I don't out. think... I don't think Southgate's you used this fired. extra time Fucking sad. appropriately, you know? Exactly. He's wasted it. Well, I mean, look, he's played it look, safe. I think, I think we look better now than we than we have. But... Because, because of individual players, mm -hmm. not because of Southgate. Right. F Foden wasn't allowed to play. Greenwood's not even in there. Jack Wheeler. Like Jack we, Wheeler's we know he's going to play a way. back five, and it's like, to me, that's the problem. Yeah. Where do you, where do you go now? You've got Foden's come in and scored two goals. Yeah, you, you bring Barkley in. Come in and, and been our best player over the three games. What do you do? That's going to give him such a fucking. You play them. Well, he retreats. In general, yeah. Uh, but or maybe he, maybe he just gives Mason Mount a text and ask him how he should set up the starting eleven. Yeah, I don't think Mount Mate, belongs it seems in the like starting eleven. Every game. No, that's what I'm saying. He's probably asking Mount for advice. But clearly, Mount. Mount I, I think Mount, I think Mount's versatile. And I I like him as a player, and I love him at Chelsea. But clearly, he's Mount not, as a draw with Chelsea English managers, though. Yeah, because Lampard because, loves him because as well. he's England's. Yeah, exactly. He's you like know? a safe ten number well, ten. Well, Lampard's like, also Mount's fi like hero and favorite player ever. So it's like it's like he's been like grandfathered in, you know? Like it's the fucking mafia. Yeah, the worst yeah. mafia ever. If you played three up top. Would he be in one of your three? Nope. No. He wouldn't no. be in, he wouldn't be in yeah, my starting 11. If you played somebody in as a number 10 behind the front man, he wouldn't be, wouldn't be in, would it? Nope. Right now, you would say you would say Grealish, wouldn't you? Or Foden. Or Foden. Yeah. You would say Mason Mount. Yeah, he plays him every game. If I, if, I, if I was Southgate, but I had some balls, 
which he doesn't. I would play a four two three one. Give you give yourself three attacking midfielders, and it would be and and it would be Grealish, Foden. Who are you playing in the two though? Because you need a solid. The two, yeah, that's that's well, mid. that's you need at least that's one. the problem, isn't it? It's Declan Rice. Go on, Rice. Man, go on you've, you've named two. No, no, it, you're right. Okay, I, I think you I know what I mean. Rice and Henderson for the next spot. Rice and Henderson. Okay, Rice and Henderson in yeah. the two. Right. Yeah. I, in the three, in the three, I would. Okay, I'll come back to the three, but I've got I've got Grealish and Foden in the three. I've got I've got Harry Kane up top. No Calvert-Lewin. I, I want Calvert-Lewin in there, but like you. No. No Sterling. It would change the system. You got, you got to play a four-two at the back. Two, two, at the back, I'd have Foden and Greenwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calvary at the back, Harry at the up. back, I'd have uh, Chilwell at left back. I like Saka though. I don't mind Saka. No, you, Center- can't, you can't have him at left back. You That's You've got to have him in a five. Who as, Saka? As the person going yeah, yeah, because he's more of a winger. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I would, I would have Chilwell then if I'm playing four. Of course, four. yeah. If you're playing four, and I would have. I would have. I would have. This is gonna refrigerate. Gonna cross. I would have no. I would have Mings and Cody and Walker at right back. Mings, Cody, I agree with. Mings and Cody at centre back. Walker at right back. Everyone fit. I, I would Alexander give Alex Arnold. McCarthy a go and goal because he's he's drawn clean sheet in the Nick Premier Cole. League right now. It, Mc, Alex McCarthy's drawn it with Southampton. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about this. It looks like Pickford's the. Only- he looks like he's the only one that has the confidence for. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind throwing Pickford in there, fine. But I'm just. I saying, definitely think Pope I chose Pickford anyway. Pardon? When we did our our England team, our England squad recently, I think I chose Pickford. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, 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 I chose. Pickford. It was it was pick. You had Pickford. You had Pope, and I had McCarthy. And I still had. I think Pope, Henderson. Hen- You're right. Okay. Ju- sorry. Just to finish this off, I would have. Sorry. So I just one Hennessy. Uh, Henderson. Henderson. I thought Dean it, Henderson. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking. Uh, sorry, about that. sorry, just to finish it off, I would have that back four. I would have I'll give McCarthy a go and goal. I would have Rice Henderson, Foden, Grealish, and then and then Calvert Lewin and Kane up top. But, that that is but, the England eleven that, no, no, that no, no, would no, win me the Euros. No, Barkley instead of uh, Henderson. Uh, I do you like Barkley, Barkley yeah. instead of Henderson. Henderson it, it, it's captain. not defensive enough though. But Barkley and Grealish, if that's the thing with England. We need to go against these the likes of Germany, who you can see who can be opened up. If England actually for once go on the attacking like we've always been able to for the last uh-huh. seventy years, we've always been able to be the best team on the pitch. I, I don't. I don't think you can leave Sterling out. Yeah, you can. I, I think you, you can. can, you can I think you can right now. You can give him a coloring book and just send him home. <laughs> I think you can right now. I think when it, once he hits form again with City, I no, think you, you definitely keep you him take in the squad him. because what? he's gonna have like some World Cup look to where he gets four goals. Yeah, like I mean, I, 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 I think you need that space. And, that, that, and and also he has been doing the best I've ever seen. He didn't play one. Of, he didn't play one of the international games, did he? Did he come out? No, 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 no. No, I don't think he's injured. But I, think I guess. Him out, mate. He's I been just, because of what he's done. I think it's hard to leave him out. He, yeah, saying, yeah. My yeah. And he's the best player. I'm just saying it's hard to leave him yeah, out. In I'm the form that he's exactly. In. Like why take people? He's, he's got, look, he's he's now got that Champions League experience. As he's well. not. He's not in a form right now. Though. No, he is. Sterling. Yeah, he has been. I just don't feel like he's he, hit the stride that he was in. La- like last season, he was in form. He's, well, no. This is the this is the end of last season. Pre-COVID, to that's what you're talking about. You're including pre- that? No, no, a tiny bit pre-COVID. Then, like, after, oh, this is weird for me. Uh, when COVID, when it all started again, Sterling was doing great to the point okay, where. Okay, but recently, I'm saying where... recently, recently, Sterling. If you look at Sterling's touch, is finishing recently. It's been, it's been. Oh off. yeah, I know. The only time you could take Sterling to an international game is if he's fucking electric. The, which the last not. three yeah, games, which he hasn't that. been. But he's like. I remember you saying it uh, when I was a, when we were little about Ronaldo, and ever since I've been a kid, I've been like knowledgeable enough to dislike Ronaldo, you know. But <laughs> you've always said, don't don't knock him off because he could look shit, but he'll still score a hat trick again you, against yeah. you, and he, he, he does that, you know. That way, yeah, yeah. And there's, there's certain players that will forever do that. I'd have to go Stale and Rashford, and then I'd be torn now between. Oh my Fox god! I didn't. Even, I didn't even think of Rashford. Rashford's one of our best players. Yeah. And Greenwood. Well, this is. But you see, this is my point. Southgate's not even given himself the opportunity to play all these players because he's playing five at the back. Yeah. Why? Why go so? Why go so defensive when 
it gives, it gives me a headache. Yeah. And I don't want to win the Euros defensively. Like, I mean, I would take the Euros, I obviously. I don't want to win it only scoring set pieces, neither. Yeah. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'd, I'd win that scoring two penalties a game. Yeah, you would. You would. We'd be <laughs> no, happy. No, but yeah, like, no. I'm just saying. Gambles. No, yeah, I, de- I definitely, I, I wouldn't. Deep down, I, we don't believe that is the football that I would could win a tournament. Like an though. American accent, if that happened. Deep down, we don't believe that's the way to win the tournament. Oh, that's what, you, that's what Well, the that's the whole is. thing with the World Cup. Like, it felt so fickle because. Yeah. One, we could have been beat Croatia. Two, I know, ninety percent of people aren't gonna agree with me this. I don't think we could have beat France. I think if Belgium, who very much could have beat France, I think we could have beat Belgium in the final because, and exactly what's happened to Belgium in the last couple of years, they are the best on, and they were the best. I on think paper, we could have beat head and shoulders. We could have beat either one. I think no, we couldn't have beat France. The form France were in because after, especially after the Euros, like they did so well in the Euros, except for the final. I think if we got just if we got two free kicks outside hands. the box, we could have beat France. If they weren't in the first yeah. couple minutes, because Kingsley yeah. Coman was like on fire that wasn't yeah. he? Or who was it on the left? Someone on the uh, Emo Dembele. I honestly yeah. don't remember right now. I know Griezmann. Um, he, yeah, like they. No, I, it wasn't Dembele. Dembele didn't go. I think it was Komen. Yeah, it was Komen. Dembele I do. Didn't, yeah, I do want to. I, I want to wrap up this international talk with with one question that sort of struck me over the the international break. Singing the national anthem before the games, to me, just seems so cringy. You know, I I just wow. find it. I find it a bit strange. I I don't know. I just think it's so. Is it not weird? I might I might be wrong. Yeah. I couldn't have I couldn't have an international game without singing a national anthem. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's maybe. Part of it what do me, you mean? Okay. It's just weird for me that they're lining up and singing. Well, you're representing your country. I understand what That's your I understand song. what the what the the heritage of the national anthem is, and like, it's the tradition, right? But it's still. It, Okay, and I guess this is more of a You're controversial thinking. opinion. <laughs> yeah, I don't touch me. You go. <laughs> yeah, <fucking. laughs> go on. Next, ep- next episode. Wait a minute, you're the editor. Next episode. Yeah. No, 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 no. Next episode is just gonna be you two sitting here going, "Well, <laughs> I just find Remember it weird." I just find it weird. You know you get a bit of backup there, didn't you? <laughs> I thought I was gonna get at least one piece of backup, but I just find it so I've weird. I've never thought about it. Because, because it, you, you look at it zooming in on these players who are sick, who are singing, which to me is weird to ask someone to sing. No, no, it's weird that they're zooming in on them. They're supposed to be about <sighs> fucking thirty his, yards away his, from any his, other human here's my, being. Here's my feeling though: when they zoom in, if one of them isn't singing, I know they're gonna get attacked. Not like like attacked. Well, no, run by the public. Just to sit there and fucking lick his lips the whole. Here's the thing. But time. what they were saying is like he, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> okay, okay. Do maybe to maybe else I need to maybe I need to take you know? to the experience. The commentators were saying Gareth Southgate loves a good anthem, and he was like singing it as if he was in like the fucking choir, right? Oh, okay. And it just was like, okay, yeah, to I me, it's, it's a bit, it's, and, but you're, and, you're, and what they were you're saying. You're stapling that to Gareth Southgate. Uh, no, no, but okay, maybe it's a, it's a sum of the parts, but like, it, it, what they were saying is like, you know, they, they said Southgate loves his players to give a good sing-along or some shit like that. Okay, maybe in the sense like, Harry Kane does shit for Tottenham, but if he hears the national anthem, he thinks he suddenly grows a pair. It just reminds not me, it reminds like, me, okay, it reminds me, and, and this might not be relevant to the podcast at all, but when we moved here, every school day we had to stand up in the morning yeah, and, we say the, and say the and say the and people, and were say the and say the pledge what's wrong with that did you want to just lay down all day no no no, no, well, no, no, no say no. the say the pledge of allegiance every morning it's like these rituals no, we didn't have to we did i didn't okay well you you were meant to i never did okay they, and every was, every teacher i ever said every what? teacher i ever had you said you don't have to say, yeah it was yeah and it actually lasted two minutes longer than the than the american National anthem show is still standing. Okay. And, uh, well, I, I, honestly, I thought this would be. Uh, no, I, 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 get I didn't. It. I didn't think this would would. Uh, go. I, I think. I think it pumps up our players. You know, the ones that oh, are. It's the prestige of playing for your country, mate. It's as okay as as what it is now because. I can't agree what you, with what you're saying. It's like it's it's. It's fickle. It's nothing. If, I just think, yeah. I just so think many it's a people bit, are just doing I think, it. I know, just like, honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you. There's so much other shit going on. Well, I'm just saying. It's just, no, no, no. But if there's something wrong, why not pick at it? 
I, I, yeah, I, I'm just saying. It I mean, was just I, it was I just would... something that caught my interest. It caught my attention. Um, <clears throat> I just, I, I, I personally, hypothetically, if I was ever playing for England, if I, yeah, sorry, I don't say if I ever was, because that means that it could potentially happen. If there was a like, if I ever played for England, I would not sing the national. Well, anthem. here's what they made it seem like: Gareth Southgate would bend you over his knee and spank your ass. I think what he meant was they get told they they did for for a long time. Get told you have to sing it. Yeah, it's if, just... if you don't know it, just just mouth the word. Well, no, no. Th- there's always been a few people like I'm. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I ever saw Skull sing the national anthem. I'm pretty sure I never saw Joe Cole sing the national anthem. There was mm. players that just stood there, stood there, and then you kind of felt confident when the camera panned to him, and he's just sitting there, not yeah. like the likes of Joe Cole when he was on fire. Well, what I noticed like, is every think, oh, every single did. England player was singing, and they zoomed in on Harry Maguire, and it sounded awful. You just but... <laughs> you got you got to keep every camera like at least twenty yards away from Harry Maguire. Yeah, at all. but it, all. Okay, I just I just wanted to ask the question. I just wanted to ask the question because personally, I think it's it's weird. It's a weird old no, tradition. Gotta do it. Okay. Gotta, okay. Gotta do it. Old school. Yeah. Gotta do it. Gotta be singing a bit I, more often. I I don't yeah. see I don't I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I just okay. My my opinion is I don't see it necessary anymore. Or why well, no, no, no. Was, but... All right, let's say let's say like the likes of Rooney didn't want to sing the national does anthem. It, okay, here's here's a better question. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just right. just here's my here's more of my point. Does it actually bring the players together yeah. like it used to? I think so. Not like it used I to. Don't but think I think it does. to a certain extent. Yeah. Hey, look, look, look. I bet you the ball still get tight with no fans England. there. With no fans there. Okay. It's different. Different than. Yeah, 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 maybe one hundred percent. With fans there, no fan. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, playing in it's, Wembley. And they're all singing it together, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Really? Here's the thing. This is the first time I've ever thought about it because it just seemed awkward to me. This, that's the first time I've ever thought about it. And maybe no fans there. That could have well, been. I mean, could have been a part of it. There's but... always been. There's always been throughout like those war-torn countries, especially in like the earlier World Cups, where like with Germany and that where. They hated their country and they wouldn't sing for that reason. Yeah. But the- well, you imagine, look, look, every kid's dream is is to walk out of Wembley wearing the England badge. Exactly. Yeah. And it's singing that national anthem. And your voice part. cracking like twenty times. I'm just. Yeah. yeah I just. All I, part of it. Yeah. 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 I don't think that'll be a forever tradition. No, me neither. And I, I don't understand why. Well, somebody will find somebody offensive in it. Well, maybe. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Very soon. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just... Maybe, maybe, maybe he's the one that maybe I, it. Yeah, maybe on. I'm just surprised that I'm starting a revolution. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Football gets cancelled. Yeah. Even Bishop's son. Anyway, I, okay. Well, I thought that's how, how we would get out of international football, but I'm just looking forward to the Premier League this weekend. we got some good games, haven't we? We've got City, Tottenham. We've got... I've, I've, uh, done, I've done a lot of... Wait, um, we already spoke about this. <laughs> Liverpool, Leicester... <laughs> Yeah, I've done a lot of Arsenal um, leads, of people not scoring. Yeah, which hasn't been the case. So we we are gonna post our predictions on uh on uh Patreon dot com slash five pints in. We post our live predictions there. You don't have to be a, a subscriber to go to go look at them. You can just go there and look at the predictions. I'll be posting those I think tomorrow. We should uh we should do like a estimate of how many because of now how many penalties happen. Yeah in a weekend yeah we could do that um but that. also go on go on the patreon and comment what you think the results will be add your own results there um i do want to also mention that we just launched our new five pints on a shirt t-shirt um that we don't have a, a version of yet um hopefully we'll have one on the podcast to display um but go to five pints in.com slash shop to check that out um I'm good. It's a it's it's a pretty cool shirt. I think it it came out it came out pretty. I cool. love it. Yeah. Um, but you love to. Design. What's up? The new designer. No, he did. Did you? Yeah, I actually showed up to him on Sunday. Uh, we were at the Lion and Eagle, and I showed up, and he's like, "Oh, I thought you were wearing Connor's shirt that he designed." And I was like, e- "The five the five pints England shirt." What do you mean? He thought. I- I thought it was you that designed it, mate. Yeah, he gave you credit. I was giving you the credit, really. 
I don't and, remember. And, anyway. I might have. No, you <laughs> definitely didn't. It was definitely me. I'm just... <laughs> Are you sure? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because I remember the time. I... Anyway, go check out fivepintsin.com slash shop and check out the five pints on a shirt uh, t-shirt. Um, you weren't even taking credit in the first place. So I don't even know why he's giving you credit. It doesn't matter. It's a nice shirt. Okay. No, now it's just, now it's kind of su- like suspicious that no, you no, came no. up with something creative. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, guys, no, uh, really we do want to move on. We've had uh, we've had a winner of the uh, of the Manscaped contest that we were doing. So Ian has the West Ham shirt there uh, with him. Don't and, have no yet. Yeah, and we are sending that out yeah, to don't show the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone knows what a it's one of those yeah it's one, shirt of, it's one of those bootleg West Ham shirts. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's like East Ham. I'm going to sign it now, okay? He's going to sign it now, um, putting him under pressure. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to send that out to, to Chris Page. Um, Ian will get that out. So by the time you listen to this, this will be on, on the way to you, Chris. Uh, we appreciate your support. Um, but yeah, I did. I, again, like I said, go go check out our results from the predictor for this weekend at patreon.com slash five pints in. Um, we do appreciate any support you can give on there as well. Uh, what about if... Anyone comes up with um, whoever loses has to do a forfeit. Yeah, I had to wear a Man City shirt. I'm like, Can you see it? I've just devalued oh, the perfectly good shirt. Yeah. There you go. Probably probably easier to see in person, but. Yeah. Yeah. So Chris, that'll be on on its way to you. Uh, no, yeah. What I was gonna say is obviously if I have a forfeit for you, either of you. It's wearing a Chelsea shirt, especially what I, I wore last week. But if anyone has any ideas, non-Man United shirts or <clears throat> any other like punishment, yeah, let us know. Go comment on the Facebook. We're open to offers. What's up? We're open to offers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So if if you have a punishment you want to see one of us in, who's going to lose the predictor? Go to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, and let us know on there what what you think would be funny a funny forfeit for us to a do. Liverpool shirt would be better than a Chelsea shirt for you. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, but oh, I'm not, I'm not yes. gonna lose. So anyway, <laughs> I do want to give a big thank you to Manscaped. They've actually just sent us a new product, the Weed Whacker. Uh, <laughs> I received mine the other day, the nose and ear trimmer. Did you get? You should have got yours as well in the mail, Connor. You need to check your mail. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Dad, you you have yours. I can see because I, I can. Mine well as shorter. I trim my nose. Yeah, I can see that, and I can see right through your ear like a bird's. <clears throat> like and a bird. It... Yeah, you know how you can see it through a bird's head. Is it a bird or is it a lizard? What? <laughs> you can see through a bird's uh, the the birds. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, no, no, you're you know right. what I'm talking about? No, I think it's a duck. If you rem- if no, you no, no, no. It's a bird back. or a lizard. You can see directly through their head. I mean, isn't a isn't a duck a bird? It's not a duck. I'm saying like a wait like a, a minute. Wait a, a, a minute. Swan. It's got a hole right through its head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 a lizard. Yeah, yeah. I, I no, no, it's not a lizard. It's it's a bird, and you pull the feathers. Mate, you're, you're being a bit diverse. A bird or a lizard? It's not like the close. Well, it's just I, I like I've seen a pet with it. No, it might be a bird or a flying squirrel. No, 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 no. It's it's either a bird or a lizard. I know for a fact because it's I, either a I knew, bird or this I knew lizard someone who chucked across the room. It's a bird or a lizard. Because I knew someone with a pet bird who also had a pet lizard, and you could see through one of their heads. And uh, it wasn't that's what I know. Uh, which one of your mates was that? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't your mate who kept the pet bird and the lizard? You could see through his head. Yeah, maybe. It's all right. I just said that. It was joke. just. It was a. It was a joke that just. <laughs> all, right. all right. Anyway, there's a new Manscaped product alert. Manscaped just released the Weed Whacker nose and ear trimmer, ear hair trimmer. Take a look in the mirror, and I guarantee you'll see hairs sticking out of those holes. It's time to keep your ear and nose hair looking as nice as your clean shaven pubes. If you got the lawnmower 3.0, um, in the first in in what we used to sponsor. Let the carpet so. match the drapes. Yeah, exactly. It, it makes it it completely re reinvigorates that uh that saying. The nose and ear trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology with which help prevents nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. The premium Manscaped Weed Whacker uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered 360 degree rotary dual blade system, and you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code Bish 
at manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped, for keeping our hairs trimmed and holes looking nice. Always feel a little weird saying that, but thank you. You can get the weed. Let you say it. You can get the weed whacker, which trims your nose hairs and ear hairs, and then you can get the lawnmower 3.0, which uh, trims downstairs um, with the flashlight technology. Uh, Connor dropped his in the toilet a few I was times. About, I was about one. <clears throat> Okay, once, and but it still works fine, and it still works fine, uh, even better, some would say. Um, so you can yeah, get honestly, you can get twenty percent off and free shipping of any of the Manscaped.com products with the code Bish. Uh, again, go to Manscaped.com, you get twenty percent off and free <coughs> shipping at Manscaped.com. Go whack your weeds, guys! Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate if you're listening on Apple or Spotify, you give us a five-star rating and a review. It helps us spread the word. Go give us a like on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Guys, well, good having a beer with you. Cheers, fellas. Cheers, guys. Cheers.